This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. This book is for people who put plays on the stage. Actors, directors, designers, technicians, and playwrights. It is also for people who read plays just for the sake of reading them, if they agree that the purpose of a script is for it to be staged. But it is addressed directly to those putting plays on the stage. The rest of you may eavesdrop. A script is not a prose narrative in mere dialogue form. It is writing heavily dependent on special methods and techniques for the stage. The techniques in this book will help you read analytically to discern how the play works. What the play means should not be the first consideration. For the theater artist or technician, it is more important to know what makes the clock tick than what time it is. And you can't begin to find a play's meaning until you comprehend its works. To do your part in staging a script... Begin by understanding its mechanics and values. If they are not clear to you, you can't make them clear to an audience, so all your best efforts will be wasted. Theater is a combination of artists and technicians and a script. You can't effectively combine with something you don't understand. But students of the theater have stopped reading plays. They continue to look at them, sometimes even look at them on the page, but few have the smallest idea why. So actors, despite talent and sophisticated training, can't. Designers get notions, not concepts. Playwrights with no idea why the ghost of Hamlet's father does not talk until scene five, or what it talks about, type decades of trivia. And directors block, nothing more. The theater artist who perceives little on the page puts little on the stage. So there are legions of would-bes whose careers never gain the name of action. From nothing, after all, comes nothing. This book is about techniques of reading scripts. Technique is not always in favor among students. But just as inspired acting, design, and directing depend on technical mastery, so does intelligent and imaginative script reading. Inspiration without technique, if it exists at all, is merely flair. If inspiration is all you have, it will abandon you when you need it most. This book describes only technique. You must provide inspiration intelligence, imagination. They cannot be taught or written about. They can barely be described. But technique will make their appearance more likely, and will get you through those unavoidable frequent times when inspiration, intelligence, and imagination don't appear. Technique, like any good tool, will not limit your result.